like it survived Thanksgiving very well. Uh, what was uh, your assessment of that tonight? Uh, we had a healthy Thanksgiving, um, food-wise. Um, we, you know, it was we had no resistance uh, there to start the game. Um, luckily, that you know they didn't have any resistance either. So it was a, it was a shootout. Um, and if you're going to be in a shootout, you got to make shots, and we just didn't make them at the right time, and they did. Jason, Lucas scored 23.6 seconds left to get you guys within two. You don't, you don't get a foul until over 12 seconds have passed. Um, what happened there? Uh, they, we're trying to get a steal. Um, There's plenty of time. Um, when they finally got the foul, we were trying to get the steal. We came close twice to getting the steal, so um, I thought the play was right. Um, a lot of times, a teams think you're going to foul, and they just will hold the ball so you can get a jump ball or somehow um, you can get a deflection and steal. So I thought they played it out right. Um, we were trying to get a steal. Some of the clock was ran off, but at that point you're trying to you know make them make a mistake, and they did. We're a couple games into the call into Collie Stein starting. He only got ten minutes tonight. What's your assessment of him in the starting five through two games? And do you anticipate that still being something that you, that you guys use going forward? Yeah, you, um, it's only been two games, so we'll see how it goes uh, on Monday and keep uh, looking at the different lineups. But I thought um, we looked at KP and Maxi heavily throughout the game, um, and so uh, we'll continue to look at that. Um, I hope we don't get caught up on starting because that doesn't that doesn't get you a sticker or anything if you start. Okay. Thanks. 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 Trey, you've had some strong performances off the bench. Uh, how have you been able to kind of you know, stay in the moment and be ready uh, for these opportunities? Uh, I think just knowing what I can do and bring to this team. Teammates trust me, know what I can do. See me show up every day and um, not only practice, but put extra work in. So I think a little bit of it is trust from them, trust in myself. And um, in this league, just got to learn how to stay ready. You never know what could happen. Could be on the court for 30 plus minutes, and then go, go, go to not playing. Um, just all situational. So for me, it's just I pride myself in just staying ready. You're, you're kind of taking Jalen's role. Have you talked to him at all about you know what it is you're looking to bring off the bench? We talk. We talk a lot actually. Um, Jalen is more on the ball, and when I, when he's playing, I'm more off the ball. Uh, I think we both like being on the ball. Um, I think it's a strength of both of ours. But uh, we've kind of pushed that out the window, like the com competing for each other's minutes type of thing. Um, we, we we talk to each other a lot throughout practice. Obviously, we play against the white team all the time, and we're on the same team in practice. So, yeah, we we try to see what what we see out there from others, from uh, his perspective when I'm on the court, and vice versa. And um, tonight, he did a good job of just letting me know what he saw, and I try to do the same thing when he when he's out there. You weren't out there for the start, but did you get a sense that you guys showed any rust at all? I'm sorry. Do you get a, you weren't out there for the start uh, uh -huh. of the game, but do you get a sense that you guys showed any? Rust from being off for several days. Mm, defensively, yes. I think um, we're still trying to find our identity on defense. Uh, offensively, we we already have an identity. We, we're strong on the offensive end, but we have too many lapses on defense. Um, you know, rather if it's against good teams or not so good teams in this league, you know, these the best players in the world. You you can't have lapses on that end of the court or allow offense to. Uh, dictate how you play on defense. And I think once we figure out how to allow our defense to dictate how the rest of the game is flowing, you know, our true potential will, will come out. But it kind of goes back to the same issue we had last year in the playoffs. And, uh, you know, some of the some of the negative sides of this team is just continuing to find our identity on defense and, um, and not allowing sh made shots to dictate how we play throughout the whole night. Okay, thanks, Trey. Yep, thank you.